The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're making drum patterns that bounce using FL Studio 20. I went ahead and filled up the channel rack with my favorite one shots from the drums bundle available at wholeloops.com and my kit consists of an 808, a clap, open hat, rim, and a closed hat. And to create a pattern that bounces, it's all about switch ups and hiccups. But I'm going to start by just kind of filling in the uh, skeleton of this pattern with some claps. And I'm going to do the entire rack here with claps. And let's also turn up our tempo to, uh, let's try like 145. Now for an 808 pattern in some bouncy drums, I want it to do something slightly different every time it comes around. So for this one, it's going to be on the downbeat. This one's going to be on the offbeat. For this one, maybe we'll do some eighth notes. And maybe this one will do just like a random lonely one. And the rims, I also want to do some offbeat kind of things. So maybe this. Uh, oops, I moved these kicks in the wrong spot. And let's do the same pattern over here. Let's put an open hi-hat and then also one at the turnaround. Yeah. Hey. I don't really like the way the full hi-hat sample sounds, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this MIDI a little bit, click on this yellow guy, and then go to our open hi-hats, and it gives us what we clicked in as MIDI, and we're just going to delete that one and draw in our own. Now we got a nice short one. Hey. Let's go over to the other edge. And then do another, another short one right there. Maybe the velocity down. Hey. I also don't want these to overlap, so I'm going to go to here and just tell it to be max one. I do the same thing with my 808 max one. That way, you know that if you hit the hit the sample quickly, you're not going to get overlapping uh, one shots. Let's go back to our normal view to add a little bit more bounce to this rim. I'm going to enable the envelope. And we're just going to make a really tight, short one. That's more like it. Yeah. I'm going to use the parametric EQ2 to do a little low pass and then just drag this down. On my clap here on the second channel, I'm going to do the same plugin but use it for the opposite purpose. And we're going to low cut it like this type, high pass, boom. Yeah. Let's also go into the MIDI for this and create some variation in the pitch of these rims. be lower. Actually, you know, let's just keep these two. Hey. And now finally, we got our closed hi-hats. I'm going to click on these, go into the wrench tool here and grab this shift tool. That way all the MIDI is going to be a little bit late. And I'm actually going to do the same thing for our rims here just to get them off the 808 a little bit. Because like I said, we have so many overlapping hits. You got to use little tricks like this to help things uh, not literally overlap, but sound like they still are. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. Uh... Hey. Hey. Ow. 
Are you tired of searching through overused, low quality vocal samples? Have you wasted days of your life mixing your embarrassing vocal recordings? Introducing the Organic Vocal Bundle, the complete collection of male and female samples, sauced up and ready to drop in your productions. The Organic Vocal Bundle is available now only at Holoops.com. Let's go ahead and click in a MIDI pattern for our hats. I like using this dripping brush tool. Not really sure what it's called, but and then boom, let's click some right in here. Let's do three. And now that we have three in here, I'm going to highlight all these and we're going to use this little arrow. and just kind of slip those around. And I love using this for random uh, kind of intervals. Hey. And then maybe grab these and pull all these down a little bit lower than the main one. I think I'm going to add one more sample into this pattern. So I'm going to grab the sampler. It's a little chant sound inside of voices that I want to use. Yeah. Right here. Boom. Drop it onto the sampler. Assign it to number six. And let's put it on beat two. Turn the volume back a little bit. And I think we're just going to leave it right there. Just because we have all these empty blocks doesn't mean we need to fill them with something. Sometimes you just put an element in one little spot. Let's do that offset too. Boom. Yeah. And I think I'm going to do some panning now. So that way it kind of has some bounce off of the open hi-hat. Thing with the rim and the hats. I'm gonna do a little panning on this too. Almost. Okay, I'm almost finished. So now that we've created a pattern that we like, we can go ahead and paint this in onto our timeline. But I don't really like how all the channels are here in one. So I'm gonna right click on this and say split by channel. And now it creates a different pattern for each one of our channels inside of our, uh, let's just delete all this and start over again now that we have it all. Delete. All right, let's just start in by putting our sub, brush some of those in. One, two, three, four. Let's do a clap. Boom. And as someone who normally uses Ableton, just understanding how to use that little drum rack to create a pattern and then split it up so that you can brush it onto different channels of your timeline the way you're used to seeing it in other DAWs was really my first hurdle in figuring out FL Studio. But we out here. Boom. I just put this at the beginning of every measure. So we'll just click this in right here. Now let's take a listen to our final drum pattern. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That is my beginner's tutorial on creating a bouncing trap drum beat using FL Studio 20. I hope you found the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful. And if you'd like to see more topics within FL Studio 20, leave it in a comment below. And I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.